And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the Congress member from Nevada, Steve Horsford. Good afternoon. I'm proud to be here uh, today with all of my colleagues as a co-chair of the Congressional Black Caucus's Task Force on Immigration to support getting immigration reform done now. And I want to commend our leadership, uh, led by Leader Pelosi and Chairman Bassetta and our other leadership, for their steadfast commitment uh, to making comprehensive immigration reform a priority. We've come a long way on this issue. We've made progress, and we're not turning back with the finish line in sight. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Comprehensive immigration reform is the civil and human rights issue of our time. And I'm proud to be on the right side of history and to propose legislation to fix the current broken immigration system. That's why we're here, because there is a broad and diverse coalition that understands how serious this is. There is a broad coalition that understands that we cannot let toxic obstructionism kill common sense proposals to fix our broken immigration system. We can pass comprehensive immigration reform. It is possible. That's why we're introducing a legislative solution that should have bipartisan support. I'm supporting this because in my district, in the district that my colleague uh, Congresswoman Titus also represents in Nevada, we have dreamers who, if we fail to act, will continue to live in the shadows. We have to get this right for those who are here at no fault of their own, who have families here, who know this country rightfully as their country. It's for dreamers in Nevada like Astrid and Allen, who want to know that the country they call home will treat them not as second-class citizens, but accept them as the true Americans that they are. Astrid applied for deferred action one year ago today. She has contributed so much to this country and to our community in Nevada. In my mind, we've only met her halfway. We need to get this done for people like her all across this country. And for people in the African, Asian, and Caribbean immigrant communities as well, and many others. That's what you're doing here today, and that's why we will get this done. So today, we ask our House Republicans, no more waiting. Now is the time to get this done. This is a legislative solution that has bipartisan support. And I'm proud to join my colleagues today to call on the leadership in the House to bring this bill to the floor and to pass comprehensive immigration reform now. And I'd like to introduce uh, my colleague, Susan Delbany from Washington's 1st District.